This is impressive. Look at what he built. This is like contraption, you little engineer, you. <laughs> Why are you filming me? <laughs> You're distracting. It's complicated stuff, Laurie. I don't know if that worked. Second try, I'll do it. So we've been wanting to do this like pendulum swing technique on a cake for years. And finally I saw somebody do it on TikTok. It's the time, we have to do it. So we've like, we, Kevin has contracted like this little red solo cup with some like tape and string and, and, a, and a stand and we're gonna put some chocolate in it. But we only have one cake. So it has to work the first time around. Oh, that look thick. Oh, that's not gonna work at all. How, how old is this stuff, Lori? Like, I don't think that old. We just opened it, it's very jelly-like. Maybe it just needs to be like mixed properly. No, it's still thick. Maybe if I read the ingredients and see if there's oil or water, then I'll have a better idea what to add. So there's sugar, water, got it. So if it's water-based, I can add more water to it and thin it out, theoretically, science. We've super thinned it out now, so it's kind of like chocolate soup. This is swinging chocolate. With test one, <laughs> which is hopefully the only test. So I just rip it off like a band-aid no, and just- No, you're gonna have to hold the cup and rip it and put your, I, okay. Pull the tape off and then put your finger over the hole. All right. Woo. Oh boy, that's very drippy and not very streamy. That I can fix. Um, who's cleaning this up? You, I'm sick. <laughs> no, all right, plug the hole. No, I get chalk on my fingers. You're not gonna have enough left to do the cake. Kevin went to the store and picked up new syrup. This one is a lot more liquidy, but still has some like, I don't know, like thickness to it. It's not just like watery. So we're hoping that this one will work. The chocolate was so hard to clean off the table, so we don't want to do a test run. Ready? Yup. Woo, okay, that's big. Ah! Oh no, oh no, the floor. Sorry, oh the no, floor. the floor. Oh no. It'd be so hard to oh, get no. off the floor. Oh no. Oh, it's looking pretty cool though. It is looking actually really cool. I feel like it looks cooler on the table, <laughs> but I feel like as it works its way in, it's gonna look cooler on the cake. <laughs> Archie's like, I'm getting out of here. <laughs> <laughs> he was over beside us a second ago. It's like just overlapping in the same area though. I wanted to go in. Kevin gave me very, very, very clear instructions that no matter what happens, I'm not <laughs> to touch it. Cause my instinct when something's happening is just like grab it. <laughs> it actually looks really neat how it's got that little zigzaggy in it. So what what point am I gonna stop it? You gotta get your hand under though. Okay, oh, you, you got it. Nice. Now what? I love it for a lot of reasons because this whole pattern is so cool and doing it, like doing the swing was a lot of fun. Like that was so much fun just to see it, it swing like around the cake. Two hours of setup time. That was like two hours of setup time. I think the pattern itself is really cool, but I'm not a fan of how it's pooling here. I'd say I would do this again, but I probably would ever do this again. But I think you should do it because it was fun. Next one. This could either be one of the coolest hacks in the world or one of the stupidest. I, I don't know. It seems really cool. And like we've done like the rice noodles in the pot before and it like blew up. It was really cool. But this, they're making it into a flour. So you're using like the rice paper and deep frying it and it puffs up into a flour after you've like just made a couple cuts in it. So it looks like they cut one that was like a bit smaller and then just made some slits going all around it and then glued it together with this like rice paste glue, which is what we made here, which was really gross making it. It, it, just, it didn't really paste right, but I feel like it's still gonna work. So we're just, we're just, we're going with it. So I'm just gonna mush some of this like I feel like it still looks like rice, but like I tried to push it through one of those like garlic presses and everything and try to make it very pasty, but I think it'll still work. Ready? We're ready. That is huge. Yeah, but it didn't like curl up the way they're curled up. Why is it so big? I don't know. It just looks like ruffly, doesn't it? Although the smaller pieces, I feel like these ones curled up a little bit more. Maybe I should make a smaller one. Smaller flour, let's go. Ready? Yep. Okay. Okay, I'm definitely happier with that. It's more curly. Oh no, I lost a petal. Petal down. Oh no, two petals down, two petals down, Kevin. <laughs> okay, we're gonna call this a win, but it worked and it looks really cool. We're just gonna put it in place and put it in place and pretend it's all whole. Now that it's not on the white paper towel, you can kind of see the texture. They dusted theirs, considering mine is all fallen apart and like fakely pieced together. I don't think dusting is probably a good idea, but you can. 
What do you think of it? It's a little bit messy to me. I can't really tell that it's a flower. It just looks like a bunch of crinkled, deep fried rice paper. I think for someone who just wanted to make some like quick decoration to put on something, I think it's really cool. But I do agree. I know that I try to make a flower, so I'm seeing a flower. But I think that if like someone came in and be like, what's this pile of mess? I don't know. You guys let me know what you think. Before I move on, I want to thank ThreadUp so much for sponsoring this video. Even though I don't consider myself a fashionista, I still have fun putting together a cute outfit that makes me feel confident. But the thing is, I hate fast fashion. Even though I have my favorite stores, I love shopping more sustainably when I can because choosing used over new reduces your carbon footprint by 82%. That is massive. ThreadUp is an online consignment and thrift store that believes in a sustainable fashion future, offering the big brands that you love, but in a planet-friendly way with amazing finds deals. One of the first things I noticed when I went to their website was their inclusive sizing for all of our mid-size and plus-size queens out there. I got these cute pink Steve Madden sneakers that I'm pairing with a halogen black tank top and RBX leggings and these fun J. Crew sunglasses. Hashtag feeling fit and flirty. Then for more of a styled outfit to go out with the girls, I got these beautiful VSVIA heels, a Michael Kors purse, and a Kate Spade purse, but I really can't decide which one I like best with the outfit. All the items arrived in perfect condition, and I would genuinely never guess that they were used. Cute clothes, but planet friendly, big savings, yes please. You guys can get 35% off your first order and free shipping using my link in the description box below and code icing. I saw this hack all over TikTok with how to get like those perfect shimmery cake pops. I have done cake pops for years and like what I end up doing is just taking some like luster dust, it's just like gold edible luster dust and I paint on the edge and it works if you have a really good quality one but it ends up looking like a little streaky and spotty in some spots. But what they did is like pour the luster dust in with the sprinkles and then just shake it around it and apparently it perfectly coats it easily. You should try it with a cheaper luster dust, not the good stuff. That's true. This is the good stuff. So this has like full coverage, but let's try it. That's not how they did it. They roll it. Yeah, there you go. That's pretty good. I will say it's kind of hard to get it on the bottom. Maybe if you had more of a full thing, but oh my God, that's perfect. And then if you just kind of like touch up the bottom, I am impressed. I meant to do the white one first, but I got carried away because I'm like, okay, but maybe you could do the white, but are you gonna be able to do it with chocolate and get full coverage? But like, yes ma'am, you can. I am obsessed with this technique. I will be doing this technique from now on. This is gonna be my new thing. This is the worst quality dust that I have. It doesn't really give full coverage, so I barely use it, but I'm curious to see how like the least coverage dust does with the sprinkles. Looks like it's doing a pretty good job. It legit is. You can see the difference of like how covered it is. Like this is like full coverage. This is still not full coverage, but it's, very but it's even. flawless. Yeah, like, and I feel like if you didn't have that kind of comparison, it would still look good. I'm sure the white will look a lot better because it'll be e easier to cover than the, than the dark. I think the technique is solid. The dust is crap. So if it can do a good job with crap dust, then I feel like this is a golden technique. Golden technique is it's gold. Yeah. My cakes have always had humps on them. I mean that like poofy bit of the top of your cake that you end up carving off. But I saw the TikTok hack that said you can spin your cake pan and apparently you get rid of that. Except they didn't show the final product. So we're gonna test out to see if it actually works. I'm just using Bach cake mix because I'm lazy and I don't got time for that. Bach cake mix? Box cake mix. Box. Box cake. <coughs> I'm sick. My boss wouldn't give me the day off, so we gotta keep going. My boss never gives me the day off either. She's the worst. <laughs> I always tap my cake pan to get all the air bubbles out, and I'm wondering if it actually does something. So I wanna try doing a test where we spin one, where we tap one, and the other one, we do nothing, let them bake, and see what they look like when they're cut open. Spin one, tap the other. Well, let's see how they bake. They all look the same. If anything, the cake that wasn't tapped or spun, I feel like it looks slightly flatter, but like they all look the same to me. Now, it was box cakes mix because- Box. It was box cake mix because I was way too tired today to make a cake from scratch to do this hack. So that could be part of the reason that like we're not seeing like a big difference with it, but you would still think that there should be something. Does this one not look a little flatter? Is that just my eyes? I think it's just your eyes. Okay. They all look the same to me. So that is the spun cake. 
that is the Tappy Tap cake, and that is the I did nothing cake. They're exactly the same. Okay, I don't know. You guys test out the tap with spinning it on like a thicker batter and let me know if it works. That might have been my bad with the thinness of the batter, but tapping it didn't do anything, I don't think, right? Like there's a big air bubble here, but like, like that's it. I don't know. You guys let me know down below if you guys try any of these things and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe, it really helps us out. And thank you so much again to Thread for sponsoring this video. You guys can get 35% off your first order and free shipping using the link in the description box and code ICING. Love you guys.